So Mira's second single is now out. It did come out yesterday, but I was busy, so unfortunately I couldn't get to it, but I'll get to it now. All it basically means is I've had uh, time to kind of think about it and listen to it a bit more, so uh, no big deal, I guess. Unless you really wanted to, I know what I thought, but hardly anyone watches me, so I don't think that's a problem. So, what have we got? Well, the music video that released for No Holding Back is a continuation for the music video Dance, which they have released. So if you've seen the music video Dance, uh, you'll know there was a story to that, uh, where um, a kid was captured and then the band had to go into this mystical world to uh, save the kid. But then at the end of the video, um, the kid was uh, took away from them again, and in this music video, uh, they go after the kid again to uh, get him back, and this time they did get him back and bring him back to the real world, but at the end of the video, uh, the bad guys actually step into uh, the kind of real world and follow them. So obviously that's going to be continued again, so there's that for you. Now, as far as the song goes, uh, the song starts uh, typically as uh, Miraf usually does with that Tunisian sound. It just comes straight out the gate. There's no build up or anything. It's just full band with uh, the Tunisian backing sound. Um, it's nothing um, epic and uh, musical like we have with uh, dance, where um, the beat and everything has great rhythm. It's extremely catchy. This just kind of has uh, the Tunisian sound being um, quite kind of bright and it is a little kind of catchy but it's nothing in the aspects realms of the song like dance or believer off of the legacy album it's just um a nice sound they have going uh for the intro with the tunisian sound the back in band uh not really doing much it's basically the tunisian sound which kind of carries uh this intro as it gets to the verse, you get the guitar on the clean channel. I don't think it's acoustic. I just think he's on the clean channel with a uh, piano, not exactly key sound. And then we have uh, the drums, which aren't being kind of uh, slow. They have a fair good pace going to them, but they're being a little uh, timid, if you uh, catch what I mean. Basically just being kind of slightly in the background, although he has a fair decent pace going. Um he's not really giving it a good old pounding and pounding the daylights out of the drum. He's just being quite gentle and everything, but keeping a decent speed up. As the vocalist comes in, um, he is singing melodic, as you can tell. We have a clean guitar uh, tone, we have piano, and we have um, a decent paced but timid uh, drum beat. So uh, it is basically a uh, melody and the melodic uh, verse we have here. And the lead singer is singing melodic, not his usual melodic. Uh, in songs like uh, I Wanna Die, um, the melody to that, or um, oh, what other songs have uh, we got? Um, basically just other things off of the Legacy album where it was um, a little uh, melodic. Um, his voice was just in a lower a tone, but it was still basically his voice not going through any kind of effects, trying to change it up. Like, uh, through your eyes, it's basically just he's not uh, belting anything out, he's just um, saying it nice and gently, as well as enjoy the silence. Um, he just sings it um, beautifully, but uh, not putting any ferocity into it. But... With No Holding Back, he's not exactly doing that. It's melodic, like Enjoy the Silence or I Want to Die or Through Your Eyes and uh, songs like that. But he just sounds so not interested, which is uh, kind of weird. He just seems and sounds so bored. Like, as he's singing the words and everything there just doesn't seem to be a lot of emphasis on them a lot of passion a lot of real kind of force or anything he's just kind of saying it in such a mellow slow boring kind of tone it's pretty dull so with that the verse is pretty lackluster and quite dull and bland and uh i love miraf i Loved the album Legacy. I loved uh, the Sands of Time album, which uh, I don't think I've reviewed that one, actually. I've, I've reviewed Legacy and gave that a good score. I reviewed Dance and gave that a great score of nine. But um, this verse, it's just so 
lackluster and boring. And it's not like their typical melodies, which they do with Free Your Eyes and I Want to Die and Enjoy the Silence, where there's kind of a bit of fun to it or uniqueness about it. It's just simple and nothing special. The pre chorus, uh, the kind of guitar comes in with uh, the uh, aggression um, gain channel going. But it's not exactly doing enough. It's still basically everything else is there, but you just get a more beefy guitar. And then the vocalist starts doing his sword, but then everything else is just so laid back and everything. It just sounds that they're trying to get a bit more energy put into it. But then there's half of the band that really don't care, which makes a really weird contrast of just high energy, just not mixing with the we aren't bothered energy of the rest of the, the uh, instrument. When the chorus comes in, the uh, intro Tunisian sound comes back with uh, its uh, sort of fun uh, beat to it, just dun 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 dun, dun. and it's just, it's not enough really, because um, even though the vocalist there goes to his kind of typical uh, singing place and everything, and the band are just doing something quite uh, bland and uh, basic. And then you've got the Tunisian sound doing something sort of interesting, but again, nothing amazingly special or grand and epic. It just makes the chorus seem like, yeah, this ain't bad, but there is nothing special, nothing unique, nothing amazingly catchy, nothing really there. And then it goes back to the verse, which is exactly the same until about halfway through, and then the uh, guitar... Um, comes back in uh, quite heavy again. But again, this just seems that they're so trying to hold themselves back in this song. For some reason, it just seems that that was the point, to just stand back and be gentle and just not, you know, push. Because they want, I guess, a kind of timid, bland sound. Not bland as in we just want the song to be crap, just um, they just want it to be very kind of slow and gentle. Yeah, basically just slow and gentle is what I'm getting at. But with that, you need something really emotionally uplifting or something that really pulls at the heartstring or something, not just we want something slow and gentle. But then you have the problem of you're doing something slow. So you don't want it to just be, this is really slow and not doing anything. That's the problem. And they haven't seemed to have kind of uh, brought thought of that. So it, it does come across as just quite slow and empty. The chorus comes back and again, it's just nothing special. I've heard way better choruses from Miraf, which is so upbeat and musical and uh, grand that it just, I don't know what they were doing besides just trying to just do something just slow, timid. And mellow, but it just makes everything slow, boring, and mellow, and not in a good way. Even though it doesn't sound good, but you can have slow and timid songs that actually are good. You get another solo, so this is basically the great part of the song. So unlike the album Legacy, um, there wasn't a lot of solos in there. So you had like a solo in Believer. Get your freedom back, you had a bass solo, but on guitar, nobody's lies, you again had a solo. The Needle, you didn't really have one for your eyes, you had one, The Unburnt, didn't have one, I Want to Die, had one, Duet, didn't have one, Enjoy the Silence, didn't have one, Stormalize, didn't have one. But if you look at the first album, Hope, you had massively long solos between keys and guitar, and they went on forever, and they were extremely fast, very technical stuff. So it's just kind of weird legacy going into a different thing, but I took legacy as a mature album that was just focusing on being very musical and being basic, but actually while the album concept is basic, it actually is doing a lot of things underneath with all the keys and the uh, orchestral arrangements and the Tunisian sounds and the vocal styles and just the kind of styles that they're pulling. So it actually makes the basic album actually not basic, but quite grand. So it was quite unique. So I kind of accepted that. But I'm glad, long story short, um, that they are bringing the solo back. In dance, we had a great, uh, pretty lengthy solo. And then as the song was ending um, with the vocalist, we got uh, the vocalist doing some brilliant vocal work and the amazingly catchy sound. 
with a beautiful uh, guitar solo going on underneath that. So there was a lot of guitar leads. It was brilliant. So it's good that in No Holding Back we get yet again another solo. He's not uh, just stopping. We get a song without it. Who knows if the album will be like that because we only have two tracks. But in this one, there is a solo, and it does actually last a fair while, because even in Legacy, some of the solos didn't last as long as I would have liked. But it was a pretty long solo, has a fair bit of uh, feel to it. It's not got that same impact as uh, Dance did, because uh, you had the rest of the song of Dance uh, making you really invested into the song, but with no holding back, because you have to go through the intro, the kind of verse, the chorus, verse again, chorus, then to get to the uh, Bloomin' Solo. I wasn't exactly invested or really enjoying myself, so that kind of put a dampen on the solo. If this solo was put into dance and everything, it would have worked incredibly well, so the solo itself is amazing. It's just because the song dampens um, your mood, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the solo in a good way because of it. We don't get a solo near the end under the uh, chorus, which would have definitely uplifted uh, the chorus, which was uh, quite bland. Um, so that is kind of it, um, a song which is quite slow, timid, and a little kind of bland and uh, basic and not really doing anything musically great and uplifting. Uh, we have a great uh, solo, well not great, but a very, very good solo nonetheless. Um, and that's it, basically the solo was uh, really, really good, I loved the solo. And uh, the chorus was alright, but nothing special, and then the verse, I just don't think the verse works unfortunately. So to give this a score, uh jeez, uh probably six point five, which is massive uh down uh, uh degrade uh, from uh, the other single on the album which is dance which got a bloody nine. So it's uh plummeted all the way down to a six point five with uh, the song No Holding Back. But it's just I don't get anything out of the verse. The chorus doesn't do much for me either. And then the solo, be it good, kind of gets it to, it is above average. It is slightly above average because of that solo and the chorus not being, you know, unbelievably atrocious. And again, this entire score could change. It depends on how the album flows. If the album flows where it actually makes this song kind of fit in well, the, I, the feel of this song may bring that up a bit. So... If you're worried and just like, oh, I really want it to be good, I'm really um, uncertain now because why would they release this as a single if it's not one of the best on the albums? Well, we hopefully it's just because it fits into an album for where the other tracks just make this song kind of actually stand out and heightens it a bit more. So who knows? This song may actually work when it's incorporated into the album. So it could go beyond a 6.5 but by itself as well as along uh, the side of dance it's not working really it's just a pretty decent song but other than that there's nothing really special to it and it is really unfortunate because Miraf are a fantastic band but no holding back really is a disappointment I can't lie just because I really like Miraf I have to be uh, truthful and it, it's not that great it's just all right. Good solo, though. But, yeah, that's it. 6.5. So, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, guys, because uh, I know uh, there are a lot of people who uh, do like Mira. So, I am sorry. But uh, that is how I feel. And I don't want to not like it. I really do love Mira. Just look at all my other reviews. I do love them. So, yeah. Hopefully... All the songs will be good, and within the album, the whole load of them will be great. Fingers crossed. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>